Hello, welcome to the channel. I'm recording a quick video on my initial gameplay of the Dream Home Designer game pack that came out with The Sims 4 on June 1st. As you see, this is my Sim Haley. She is currently on level 1 of the Interior Designer career, so she's an interior color consultant. So as a part of her job, she has to go to the lot, which this gig happens to be a room renovation in her childhood home. Currently, she lives in the apartment in San Machuno, and I actually outlined her entire gameplay and legacy in a Tumblr blog, but for this specific video, she's just doing the career. So, as you see, she has different interactions that she can choose as an interior decorator to kind of get a feel for what the client wants. So this is her sister-in-law, Kaiko, that she's talking to in the red jacket, and Kaiko has told her that she likes fitness. That is a great start. Um, with this pack, it was kind of vague in terms of what you're supposed to do. It doesn't really specify what room you're supposed to modify, and then some of the likes and dislikes are hard to portray in a room. Like, for example, her mother, Tracy with the gray hair, told her that she likes mischief. I don't know how you portray mischief in a room, um, other than making it playful or childish. Uh, once you get all your likes, you can send the family away, which is really great in this example because the family lot that she was on had six sims, so it would be very hard to decorate a living room with six sims coming in and out of your space. Um, so she's going to now take the before pictures. So that's one of the new interactions that are also part of this pack. You're able to take before and after pictures, and the camera's a little bit better actually in this pack than it would be normally. Um, you actually can walk around using the AS. WD keys to get a better angle if you want to. I didn't do that in the specific living room because my sim was standing in the perfect spot. Once you've taken your before and after pictures, the next step is really to get into build mode and take on the next level. I actually am not a builder. Even though I'm not a builder, I do find this game to push my limits. I really struggled. I had to even move my sim out of the room because I didn't anticipate that she was going to be in the way when I was trying to redecorate. So I had quite a struggle here. I didn't know how to portray, you know, fitness and cooking and, you know, mischief in a living room. I think that that's hard. I know it pulls from the likes and dislikes system that they introduced with the base game patch right before this pack came out, and then the pack itself has more. But I really didn't know what to do. I had a hard time here, actually. So once you've completed the renovations and you select the interaction to call the client back to the lot, now you get to pick your before and after pictures. So you actually do take them separately. The before pictures are before, the after pictures are after. So I apologize earlier in the video, I said you took before and after pictures at the same time. So she selects her pictures. You can select up to, well, I only took three or four of each side, but I think you can select up to five on each side, five before, five after. The living room wasn't that big of a space, but I believe when you have later gigs where you're renovating entire rooms or entire floors, um, you might have more options for pictures, and you may want to take more pictures. Um, just to note, taking pictures for this pack also helps you raise your photography skill, which is great. It's one of my Sims likes, so she was gaining photography skill and enjoying that while she was doing this pack. Once you've called the client back to the lot, they kind of stand outside waiting around. You have to unveil to them and reveal the new renovations, um, which is a cute interaction. I think that it was nice to make it somewhat of an enjoyable experience for them. And then they get to come on in. And I actually wasn't sure what to do, but apparently they walk in on their own and this triggers the slideshow of the before and after photos, which as you see, I feel like I did a decent job. The living room before, you know, was okay but it was more family oriented this living room shows up all of the new furniture all the modules sexual sectional couch um you know the different sort of i picked a white couch now i think it's kind of messy for a household with children uh once they've had a chance to start you know walking around you can show them certain pieces of furniture that you think they might like um throughout the room and have them check it out and yes every single person that lives in that household is considered a client unless they're a toddler or a pet so they all check it out together. And then once they've checked it out, you do have the option to talk to them afterwards. They'll have a clipboard with a check mark above their heads when they want to tell you their verdict of the items. It's hard because I didn't have six likes or dislikes, but there are six people in the household. So I didn't actually know how they were going to judge me 
on this, but I did have to talk to all six people, which was also challenging because they don't always stay in the same spot. I didn't do a great job. I actually had a hard time. And then when I tried to go back home and pick another gig, I got a glitch where all the gigs are blank. So I actually was not able to do any of that. Um, so I will have to try on a different family. But thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments.